excited here. Welcome, Suni Lee. You got your gold medal around your neck. How's it feel, and how does that medal feel on you these days? Heavy. Is it heavy? Um, but yeah, it feels amazing. It's just a dream come true. I mean, has it? Look, I mean, it happened. I saw your face when you looked at the score, and you realized you were at yes. the top of the board. You knew that you were the best all-around gymnast in the world. I mean, tell tell me what how you slept last night. What dreams you had? Um, if I'm being honest, I did not sleep very good last night. I was just so excited. Like, there was just so much going through my head, and it just, I still can't, like, wrap it around my head. Well, you know what was, what freaked me out a little bit? I was watching you, and you were standing next to the beam, and you had to wait. It felt like for three days yes. before you got your chance. You were holding your stomach. Mm -hmm. What were you saying to yourself? Like, how were you trying to calm yourself down? Um, I was just telling myself to do nothing more and then nothing less, and then just telling myself to breathe because in that moment, I literally felt like I was gonna puke. Like, I was so nervous. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, just telling myself to calm down. What do you mean nothing more, nothing less? Why was that your mantra? Because my normal is good enough. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't need to do anything more or anything less. I just have to do what I normally do. I had my eye on you the whole time. Yeah, I know, we were talking throughout the whole meet. I was looking at you before I went on, on every event. <laughs> well, I was I was feeling I was feeling you because I knew that your your parents couldn't be there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you could tell, but you were at one point you were on the beam and you couldn't see us because we were behind you. I think we might have a little bit of video. We were trying not to be obnoxious, but we couldn't help <laughs> ourselves. So you do this great thing. At mm -hmm. the, it's hard to see on this one because I think we're in the you're in the corner there. But Anyway, we were, were directly oh. behind you. Hang on. See those two? See the girl in the red? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, out of, out of control. It was like such a beautiful moment. And I, I know you called your dad and mom before the national anthem was yes. sung. What, what, tell me about that conversation. Um, so we were in, it was right before the medal ceremony. Yeah. I FaceTimed my sister. And everybody in the camera was just screaming and crying. And I was just like, I did it. And then we just had like this little moment where it was just like, we did it. Like, you know, this, your, your, your family and the Hmong community has been behind you. And I know that they made sure the Hmong community always pulled together for you. In what ways did they, did they help you? Um, they helped me a lot. Like they sacrifice a lot for me. They support me. Um, like so much and then we also have like fundraisers and they're willing to give anything like if we ever need anything they're just so supportive of my whole family so fundraisers to make sure that you could get where you needed to get and do the things you needed to do yes I mean that is that's pretty incredible your dad said so many amazing things he built you that beam in your backyard <laughs> which struck me because it's still standing there in your backyard and after I had a chance to speak with him yesterday I said, well, what do you think? And he said, you know what? I'm so happy I built her that beam. Yeah. Like that, <laughs> that, that was such a symbol for him. What did, what did that mean to you? That beam is like, I don't know. Like I grew up going on that beam. If I wasn't in the gym, I was always outside on the beam doing extra things because I didn't want to get behind or I always wanted to get better. So mm -hmm. it was something that we kind of like cherished because whenever I was bored, I would just go outside and he would watch me and try and coach me, even though he didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he had no idea. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. You said to me yesterday. You said your dad always dreamt of being here, yeah. and he would. You said he would do a backflip if he could. Mm -hmm. Tell me about his recovery. We know that he's been paralyzed from the waist down for a, for a little bit now. Yes, he's doing a little bit better. He's actually starting to learn how to drive. Like they're teaching him to learn with like the handles or whatever in yeah. the car, and then. He's been doing this like year long trial and it kind of like stimulates the, the nerves in his leg. So it's really exciting. Well, he said something interesting too. He said, I want to tell Simone that she truly is the goat because she let my little girl bring the gold medal home. <laughs> That's just, uh, my, dad seemed, my, my, my dad means so much to me. I love him so much. And it's just, I wish he could be here and share this moment with me. Well, you got, you got two more events. Right? I know. How are you feeling about those two? You got the bars and the beam. I'm really nervous, but I feel like I'm really ready to compete on bars and beam. I got to tell you, you made your community proud. You made us proud. You made America proud. It was a moment. You're 18. It's your first Olympic Games, and you just slayed it. So congratulations, <laughs> Suni. I'll be seeing you again at the next couple gymnastics meets, okay? Look for me. I will. I'll be throwing you some.
<laughs> it's while you're up there. Okay. All right. And we're not done with her incredible story. Coming up, what that gold medal that SUNY has around her neck means to her community back home in Minnesota. And by the way, this girl, she's already inspiring the next generation of U.S. gymnast Savannah. Well, how could she not avoid I mean, you? You're this? jumping up and down <laughs> like a crazy person. Well, I, I couldn't help it. You would have done the exact same. You bet. We were you jumping know? up and down for you here. Suni, congratulations. Yes. Yes. Proud of yes, you. Yes, we Thank are. You. Yeah, and Craig's here. We're going to turn to another big story yeah. going on. Yeah, I think uh, skateboarding right now is like, has a lot of kids' attention and um, a lot. Like, if you... It's, I guess, really trend, trendy right now, I guess people say. Um, and I think because of that, it's like we're going to skateboarding, we're going to get a bigger audience. And then uh, Olympics is going to have a bunch of like little kids watching it because it's like their favorite skaters, you know. And so we kind of just like both are like, um, what is it, like just getting something cool out of it and... Uh, I don't know, because there's a lot. Skateboarding's like really popular right now, and every time I watch like girls on YouTube, they're like asking for like certain skateboard companies that I know, and like girls that want to learn how to skate or guys, and yeah, so.